use the breast anyhow. Yep. Yep. I and what I'll do. That's usually what I do. You take the leg and chunk the leg meat up and throw the leg meat in there. Yeah. Or else. See, I threw. I, I threw the whole car. I threw the whole carcass there. Well, see, that's what I did in my hay set. That, that was a hay home. set. That yeah. was a hay set that I we have it set on. Yeah. Jane, but there is two, two. Um, yeah, I had two. I thought I had two in, and I'm looking around, and and I I just couldn't find the second one. It's there. It's and probably... see what I was thinking. Well, what happened is we we were at the where I seen this where we caught this one. We went for a walk over the summertime, and one came running out of gray, and the dog was only a pup. But boy, her fur went up, and she was and the kids didn't see it, and, and she was barking like crazy, and uh, you just killed us. Yeah, well. I, but I can tell it's, this is going to be easy to skin. Is it easy? Is it we, easy? Oh my, uh, when, they're, when they're warm yet, they're real. Well, warm. now how do you do a coon? Warm different. like that too? He, he, if he catches any coon this year under 18 now. inches, he's just getting rid of them. He ain't even, he's going to let him. I said, how do you get him out of trap? He said, it's not easy, but I get him out of trap. Can you see this kind of? Where the fur color starts to change here a little bit. You got on this side one? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. I do. I just take... You don't. You want to try not to cut in too deep. Why? <clears throat> because if you're using like the the setup that I have, mm -hmm. if you cut in too deep and you nick them tendons, you'll pull it right off, <laughs> right um, off the foot. Should have bought one of those chains. That, well, that's <clears throat> what I need to invest in one of these days. I'll buy you one for two chains. No, you <laughs> not. I tell you what, you can do though. You can sharpen my knife for me. Do you have a steel? No, I don't. I need to get one. Would have brought mine with now me. what I do, I don't skin out the feet. For one, I don't have the stuff to do it, and it takes forever. So what I do is I just pretty much right at the base of the foot here, where this rope comes down. You follow it right around where, like a rabbit's foot, kind of around there. Yep, I just go right around. <coughs> and here's where you gotta watch that you don't get that tendon, because when you get the tendon, then shit. When you start to pull it, it catches and stays behind. Right. I know what you mean. Right. Because yeah. I, I, I did that on the other one. I did that on the other one. You know, I didn't know I wasn't supposed to go in too deep. It was actually the first box I ever did. How long would this box take? Now, what do we do with this then? We don't use it for anything, the fox. No bait or anything, just... I don't. Okay. Because I'm going to I want to take the head off for my sister-in-law wants a skull. Yeah, I don't use it for anything. Now they claim she does coon you can. But I've never had any luck catching anything with coon meat. What's that skull over there that you have laying there? My bobcat. A bobcat you caught? Yeah. Get out! Where'd you catch that at? Uh Potter County in 07. Oh wow, the jaws like falling apart. Well, <clears throat> my when the taxidermist skinned it out, he kept it intact for me. The meat was still on it and everything. I had it in the freezer, and this is when Jamie and I were living in Northumberland yet. Oh wow! Look at the little teeth on that thing. He busted that one off, I think, on the trap. Yeah, I can see. He that. was biting at the trap. Oh yeah, he was. He was not happy. Look at it. Look at the gauge wire of that. That's just the big bar. Is that it? Yeah, that's that's uh that's coated though, ain't it? Yeah, that's that's oh, because this here is bar. it's the same size. Is it? Yep. The only difference is this is plastic coated. That's not. Did um he's the one who what? made those those uh. Tell you what happened. He hooked the. I know it's a coyote because I've seen the footprint and everything. Um, he, oh, 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 this guy's killer. He um, he, he set it in this old pole set, right? These goat pole, and we, and it's that I come back and it's dug out and flipped. So I said, ah. Oh. So I go to the other end, which is about a half a mile away. And the next day, that one flipped. I'm like, oh, well, that's a deep box too. Well, so, so, do the same thing. Yeah, yeah but, said it, but I could see, hole. but it's but the footprint in it was about this big. Oh, if you could see the footprint. Yeah, you could yeah. see the print hang stack. I have a picture of it on my phone. I could see the footprint right here. There was right deer in. prints right by it too. 
Yo, here's something dug up and set both traps off at uh, the, you know that, that set I said about putting at that at the end? But if you follow it out, you come out to the open field in the church lane. That one it was just that. Yeah. Something flipped and dug that one up. Both of them. Our Both coyote, those traps. Our coyote set that was that. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God. Holy God. I, I see at the first trap we went to, and I'm like, oh, I'm going to bust this one. Yeah. <laughs> you get a lot done like that, but they said you were not digging it deep enough or setting it flat enough. Yeah. Most times it's that comes from. <clears throat> not so much from grays, more from reds than coyotes. They, uh, they, red grays are more aggressive feeders. Okay, so they're gonna come in at your dirt hole, and if you got what they want, they're gonna come. They're gonna come full bore at it. Where a red fox is really, really weird. Okay, and when he comes into your set, <clears throat> if he steps on say the jaw of your trap, and that jaw moves just a little bit, well, that fox is gonna get curious, and that naturally will cause him to dig. And then, in turn, he'll find the trap before he finds the fan. Now, when you have that happen, make sure when you remake that set, you change up your lure. Because once they make your trap, okay, from then on out, if they come back to it again and smell it, what they'll start to do is associate that smell trap. And every time they smell that smell, they're going to come in suspicious and dig for that trap. Yeah, I, didn't, I know, I didn't even... <laughs> so we're um, learning. This is, I, this, this, I'm a month into it. This is what I've learned. I never did anything. I think it's great. I love doing it with my brother and oh, Seth. It's, it's a blast. I like this is, this is I, I, 10 seconds you're doing it. Oh, is it your third? It is our third. Well, we're in one year of it. I never did it till a couple months ago. I'll tell you what. For one year, oh, God, we're all two days already. Really? Thank you. Yeah. Fox and coyotes are the two hardest blue bears in the state. They, my buddy said, yeah. you have, if you have that, he's been tracking for 30 some years. He said, if you have bobcat in your area, you'll catch them. It's just like a feral cat. If you have them, you'll catch them. He said, they're very, they're like a house cat, and you will catch them. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah. I thought it was cool. Yeah. I didn't think so. Oh. So did I. I couldn't see. But I don't know. That's why my dog is a female. I thought it was a man. Did you hear about what the doctor was doing? He, I was watching his dog. Jamie, you know, Duke's a duchess. He's there. What? I said, your dog's a female. My dog's up here trying to hump it. I said, I got... And she was in heat yet, the first heat. Oh, my dog no. was in heat, too. Oh, no. Did Seth tell you about it? Yours his? is a female, too, ain't it? Yeah, we got her fixed, though. <laughs> now watch yourself, because... Uh, it'll, it'll go. It might. Mine did. Why are you pointing it at me? I would point it at you, too. <laughs> Where do you work, Casey? Cold Township Jail. Get out! Yeah. Do you know Anna Scavage and all that? <laughs> hmm? Do you know what? Um, what's, he's, the, he's the... He just got in. He just uh, got in. Oh, oh let me think of his name. Oh, is that how long you're in already? Just about. I'm, I'm done with my training in December. What do you do at the jail? Do you arrest people? Nope, I guard people. Yeah. Um. Oh, he's a he's one of the big. He's like a sar whatever, like a big sergeant or a lieutenant. Who's the, your lieutenant? Oh, we have a bunch of them. No. He, he does my coal stove. What's his name? Do you know his name? Oh, I know who you mean. John. John. Is it John? Um. I just have John Coal Stove. I can't think of his last name. He lives okay. out in the yeah. 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 Yes. Why did you go through the back like that? That's what I'm, I'm I mean, he's talking. I'm trying to pay attention to what I am doing too. This. I'm watching him. Because oh. you're going to pull the tail down. Yep. The more you can get away from this tail, the better you are now. Right here where his nuts are. Mm -hmm. We're going to take, we're going to take and we're going to cut it straight across. Okay. In other words, butthole. where it's, butthole is you're going right across it and you're coming out Pretty straight well. across this and we're going to leave this tough to hair right on there. Okay. not even going to use it <clears throat> how about Ki um, Kistler um, yeah I know Kistler yeah, I, I think Lieutenant Kistler yeah he's um, my good friend 
okay. He's a heck of a nice. I know him 30 years. Me and him are real good. He's one of the nicest guys you ever met. Okay. His grandson was that one that was hit by the lightning. Oh, get out. Yeah. I didn't know that. Okay. Yeah, he's, he's, it's his step-grandson, but still. Yeah. He's yeah. been raising okay. that. So you basically went from where the butthole is, right in the middle, right across. That's and you're going to do, do the same thing on this side. Yep. That's all right. That's all I do. You could probably get rid of the majority of it if you wanted to, the butthole, but. <coughs> I'm sorry, but I have to be a part of it while I'm watching hey, it. Hey, no, that's <laughs> fine. That's fine. Did you ever get? Oh, uh, I don't know, buddy. I usually get probably three or four every year. So us getting two means we're doing something right then. Oh, I think so, absolutely. To me, any any canine is a victory in my eyes. And so you caught uh, beaver in that time. last year, huh? Beaver? No, I didn't catch it. Oh, that was Brian. Brian, Brian, Brian did. Beaver. That's about the only hey, man, I haven't caught. I guess you and Brian are, what, go halfers with stuff, right? Sometimes, yeah. And what's the point system there? See how many points oh, you Oh, that's... The other year, um, you know Malachi. Yeah. Him and I and Brian, another guy at work, were having a trapping contest. <laughs> and they, they come up with this point system, and I'd keep tally of it. Well, that's what I painted over. That was the tally. Who won? See what I mean? Yeah. Uh, a guy named Mark Wyslowski. Mark Wyslowski. What did he get? I know him, I think. He ended up catching a bobcat the very first night oh. that him and Malachi had to release. <gasps> and uh, that put him way up there in the points. That's the year I caught my coyote. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. That would have put... If I could have had more time and I wasn't in Pittsburgh the whole time and I could have trapped around home a lot, I probably could have won because the coyotes were worth the most. They say that if you catch a coyote, that's like, in PA, that's like the... That is the hardest thing to catch. They say because they're so weary and they might be here today and gone two miles over tomorrow. Yep. But my buddy catches them out there in Irish Valley in the fields all the time. Yeah. Well, they probably are a lot more abundant out there than they are here. Okay. Now, I just, I always skim the tail down a little bit further just because... <laughs> <clears throat> now can I ask you? You never take the tail and and, and come down that way with it, or you just Only you just leave coon, it whole? Coon, coon, you do. Okay, yeah. But coon, I even wait for coon, and what I'll do with coon is I use my uh, tail splitter. Once I pull, once I pull them off, mm -hmm. once the tail's off the bone, you just slide this down in the tail mm -hmm. and take the knife and. Oh, that's really neat. What's that called? Chintzy. It's just a tail splitter. <coughs> it's not the fancy. No, but that's it that makes it. Easy. Yeah. Huh. I'll take your break. <laughs> you could. I Go could ahead. make one really easy. Go ahead. I have and I have scraps over there that you could use. That my follow-on. Now, when you're doing this, yeah. always grab here because if so, not, so many times I've ripped this right off, and when you do that, man, is it a pain in the butt to get? Then you gotta get vice grips or whatever. Oh wow. okay. Oh my goodness. I could just slap you, Casey, in the face for doing that. Making that it look easy. so easy. <laughs> I oh. could just slap oh. you. Oh. <laughs> that makes me mad that he you just did it that off easy. Of rat coon, Uncle Joe. Oh. I don't know, but that's some You know how much I bad oh, at that, that thing. Oh that one. You don't get them around here like that. Oh that yeah. was down at my that was down oh. my dad's. That was down in the Yikes. Oh. Oh, Casey. 11 and... Well, what? His beard's over there somewhere. 11 and... I wish I could do them like that, Job. You know it. You can. Just right. take your time. Did you see what I did there? Skin it down to about here. Just real light with you the knife. You figure as long as your finger. Real, real... You know... Mm -hmm. He just, just took his time. with the knife. The thing take is, he's... Hey, Jamie, you know what it seems uh, like? He's there? he's taking more time than we're kind of being in a rush. we got to slow down on it. Well, see, I... Well, Look I, how easy he is doing it, though. Yeah, but this is warm, too. I told you guys. This yeah, is, but still... Now, can we, I ask you, do you take and cut around the front paws right away, or do you wait? I'll show you. Okay. See, now, this is the only part that stinks when you start getting the meat hanging on there. You hardly have any fletching to do right now. But there's not much fat on these, right? No. Now, that skinning nice. machine, do you believe in them things, or do you think they're just a, something extra to work with? 
Skin and machines? Yeah, them skin and machines. No, you, it's like a you ever electric hoist. He wants to get one. I don't want to. I'd love to have one for coyotes. Would you? Anchor it to the floor. Yep. Uh, yeah, I've seen they use Even they can use a come along. You can use a hand come along if you can't use electric. I have a hand one right underneath the bench there. Pull it right there, Jim. That's exactly what. Okay, when we get this fleshing thing, you remember what that is? <laughs> <laughs> now, this, this is what I do. Not everybody does this, but I'll take and I'll press this out with my finger, and then I know I'm not poking holes in the hide. You know what I seen they do there on a video? They do that and they put a their um meat steel meat steel in there and pull it and pull it down. Yeah, we were watching a video because that's the only way. I'm doing it. raccoons. We didn't know. Now, this is our hardest thing. Legs. It don't. There's not really no set length. <coughs> I just pull them about like that and then. Because that's something they don't really... I mean, look at mine. Mine are only stubby. I don't even think I pulled mine Oh, out. they don't look at them? No. More or less all they want is the head yeah. and the tail. And no holes in the hide, right? Yeah. What happens if you have holes in the hide? You don't get much. <laughs> you get docked pretty good. Yeah. Wait till you see the coon, last coon I did kind of uh, jamie up. Are they on the belly or are they on the back? They're on the belly. I am You're fine. Belly. You're fine. Well, and then he's there teasing, you know. I back, can't back, help. He gets me to laugh. And he I'm gets, we get laughing. We're brother, you know. We're having fun <laughs> with it. But he's there teasing me, and well, then Seth, seven years old, is starting to make fun of me, and I'm trying, you know, at least trying because I don't know what I'm doing, and they're making a jerk out of me, and I'm sitting there trying to be serious, and then I start laughing, and it gets worse. At me. see, and we're really not in it yet. I hate to say it, we're really not in it yet for money. We're in to kind of more well, learn I, what I, we're doing. I'm, I'm not in it for money, money at all. We just I, uh, love it. I'll tell you, though, so. if we ever get a coyote, the whole valley's going to know it because we're going to be yelling that loud. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm surprised the whole valley didn't know. <laughs> See, I was getting to the point where I was getting really frustrated with this one spot up there. Where Did you get it on the mountain? Or, or oh, for the, this, this side? Nope, that side. And we didn't catch one thing where this was. This is the only thing we caught. We have it there for how long, Joe? We haven't rebated that for almost two weeks because we knew we were going to pull them tomorrow. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm pulling you, these all on Monday. Let me tell you, that one that I caught the coyote in, that sat there for, I'll bet you, a month before I caught anything. Shame, you know, but there is two traps down there. I wonder if they got, they kind of drug it away because we used steel, steel things yeah. in the boat them. No. See, if this, was, if this was my dog, I've, and I, a turkey dog is actually hunts turkeys, he'd be eating that thing. <laughs> he would, he'd Our be. dog wasn't bothering it when it was on the porch. I need to get better lighting out here, you know. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> I like it. He has the old knob and tube there. Yeah, out here I do. I just haven't had the money to well, upgrade cool. yet. Why would you I have? I have a. I have a new yeah. uh, breaker box to put out here. Yeah. Yeah. I just haven't got. Money. When I did my house, I just put 200 amp service in two years ago, mm -hmm. and I actually left a bunch for when I uh -oh, do. Oh, Jamie! Now your professional screwed up for you. See what I did there. Yeah, well, that's one. I had to have about 30. I was gonna say, I told no. you I wasn't no professional. That's the only you put it. You, did. Yeah. you see us getting worried about it? <laughs> no, you know how many we have? We just want to see. Yeah, there you go. Now, see, now, now I'm really screwing up. You know what it is, it's that knife needs to be sharpened, you know it? I'm sure it does. I can tell. You're fighting with it to, to do anything. See, I couldn't. I wouldn't even get it that far. Cut. I'm going to try and make it look that, Why did Carrie, Carrie came up to see the sketch skin and she went in the house with her? I know. Well, Carrie, Carrie likes suck. this stuff though. She's a good woman. She loves it. She does. My girlfriend's like, that's gross. Sorry, Ken, by the way, came up from from Harrisburg. <laughs> Hope you don't mind what do it is. Why would I mind this? Who got you yeah. into trapping? Yeah, you Okay. <laughs> you come up and, uh, Who got you your first uh, a trap? A city slicker from, from Harrisburg comes up and gets us into trapping. That's true. Oh, that. Well, you know how he got into it? He's about, he seen we seen mm -hmm. Brian's fox four years ago caught out on Church Lane, mm -hmm. 
And, and the trap. Dur- during hunting the season. Yeah, during yeah, hunting yeah. deer season. He said, let's go out and look. So we went out then in a truck and, and looked at it. He got into it the next year. And then the final. No, that's, he got, got into it. Kenny wanted oh, yeah, to do Kenny it. Kenny got into it. Yeah. It's a good thing to do with your kid, though, you know? What, do you have all girls or do you have any boys? I have one boy, but he lives with his mom. And the rest are girls. Now, I do have Aubrey wants to try it this year. What? Trapping. Nice. So, first fox last year. I'll tell you what I love. This is our second fox. Yep, that's awesome. We don't, and we're how, just kind of learning, aren't we, Seth? I mean, now, the years. Yeah, this is important because I always screw these things up. Pain in the butt. I'm not going to lie to you. And I hit that doggone vein. And it's making this look. Yeah, look at that. See it, how it's pouring look out? Look vein, yeah. I just barely nicked it, and it's really. What? Why is it doing it that way? Mm. Huh? Because I nicked it with a knife. Oh. Uh-huh. And now it's making the hide real slippy. That's why I keep yeah. using this. Oh, he almost has it there. He's got a good grip on it there. Okay. Now. The ears can be a major, major pain if you don't cut them right. See, they're right here. Here and here. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I usually just take a straight line like this and... Same over there. Okay. I I, okay. I want to see how you how you first of all. You can feel. Them. Oh yeah. I Where, can feel okay. the cartilage unit. You can feel. Them. Oh, okay, right there. And what do you cut above see, what there I or did below is, there? I cut real close to the skull when I did it. Because when I did my uh, raccoon before, I realized I cut them too short. Oh, okay. You come right through it. Mm-hmm. Now, you what do you said? Make a straight mark to the other side, you said? Yep, about the same. Over to here. Just do the same thing. Okay. Now, one nice thing about these ears is now you got yourself finger holes. Yep, little mm-hmm. handles. Little handles. Oh, check that out. Kenny. I never did that either. And the eyes right above it, ain't they? Below it. I mean, below it, I'm sorry, yeah. Mm-hmm. As you're pulling down. Now, see, that was my hard thing. You know why? Because I cut the eye when I did it. Not the eye itself, but you know where the eye meets the nose and stuff? So my thing is, I can't figure out how to do that jaw, the bottom jaw. Like, you leave the whole thing on, but I've always... I do just because... Ryan told me, he, he always what? cuts them off at a... I got this from my dad. My dad is all about appearance, okay? Mm -hmm. Same with his coon. When you're flushing the back of the head, they don't even bother, they don't even, that don't even have nothing to do with what money you're going to make, the head. But my dad always flushes that head. He said, the better your stuff looks when you go to sell it, you know, the more, the sharper it looks, the the better money you're going to get for it. Had your dad been doing it a long time? Oh, yeah. He got out of it there for a while when he started working at Martz's. How much do you get for bobcats? Oh, they're big bucks right now, buddy. I heard everything went up in price this year. Everything but coon. I heard (laughs) muskrats is really bringing the money, somebody said. Yep. See, that's what... How much are they? Travis plays on. Bobcats? Mm Mm-hmm. You can probably get, I think, some... The last I heard, for our bobcats, and our bobcats don't have as nice a fur as they do out west. Not spotted as nice. For ours, we're talking about eighty bucks. Really? What's a fox? What's a fox doing? Red, He's red, red, for red fox. I haven't heard grays. Red fox this year projected to start at fifty-eight bucks. No. That's pretty good, then. Uh, that's really good compared to the last four or five years. Yeah, they said they said year. muskrats went up. My buddy, he he had a bunch of ponds. He said that I could come down and. Now I can see. see I eyes. see where the eyes are. Oh, I didn't. I was thinking here they were. Here. No, wait, how, how do you know? Because I was thinking they were here. You can see them almost. No, I can't. Well, maybe I'm screwed up. No, it looks that right there. like the eyelid right there. I thought. Yeah, that's you the are right there. Yeah. Yeah, because I can see it now that you say it's right there. Mm-hmm. 
and just take like we did the ears, find about the middle. I try and, on these, I try and stay up a little bit so I can get the eyelid and all. Because the first couple fox that I skinned, I screwed that part up. See, that's what I did on mine, yeah, buddy. So what, buddy? I just what? take my I have a there. puppy. Look, you don't have to show me your teeth. I'm not see scared of you. the whole eyelid there? Mm -hmm. I'll just... You smell my puppy? Just keep working this down. Huh? You smell my puppy? What is He's his name? Miley. 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 That's what my cat's name is. You stay up high when you do that. For Miley <coughs> Cyrus. Yeah, my girls like, or one of them like. Yeah, one that's. One of them yeah. Montana for you. Yeah, that's the same year. Damn cat. I hate cats. So do I. But if it was up to me, that black one running around would, would be uh, out here getting skinned right now. I you say if he wasn't bait. taping, I would tell you what the best bait they say for coyote is. I know what it is. And that's why I said she'd be yeah, out here getting skinned, skinned out right now. Domestic <laughs> house cat. <laughs> Biggest thing with skinning these is take your time. When our cat dies, I'm going to use it for rush, coyote bait. when you really mess them up, you know what I mean? What's that? When you rush, that's when you mess up. Seriously, when it dies, man. These things are so lean. I can't believe how lean it is. You take a lot quicker than this. What's that? You take a lot quicker than this. You mean a lot longer? Quicker. No, you were quicker. We ain't quicker than this. <laughs> no, you, you didn't take your time like this, Jane. We went right through it. Did we? Yeah. Told you. Yes, you did. Did I? Because I was getting a, pasta, a coon, and you were done before I even got the coon started. And then he takes his time and gets off. Because look how much he don't have no fat on there, nothing. He put a hole in it, though. So what? <laughs> you would have put seven holes in it. I can't That's believe you said you, the guy is skidding your animal out, and you're, and you're going to say something like that. I did that oh, my goodness. <laughs> Okay, I'll, I'll, never, I'll never hear the end of this. Oh, uh, yeah, right. Yeah, but you don't know, James. He, that's the, my dad in him. Oh, he hit the tooth, too. Huh? Yeah, that's great for your knife. <laughs> that's well, you, the meat cutter. You, you're going you to sharpen it, aren't you? Now, these can be a pain to get the lip like I do because uh, when their mouth's closed. What do you do? Open it up so you don't hit the teeth like that? or? or Listen. I just pull. If you shoot a raccoon, do you skin it the same way? Yeah, just about, yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Like hunting. So you do the ears the same way like you're doing there before? Yeah, because I know it's going to fling back at me. All right, no, let me get that on film. Go, Jamie, get right underneath it. Oh, he did get it. Right off. Look at that. You? Now the nose. The only bad part about the nose is you don't want to get too much of the cartilage. See, that's what I do all the time. So how do you know, before you go any farther, how do you know? Because you said yours started to rot or something? or? It's because I had too much on the ears. Too much meat around the ears when I skinned mine. Oh. Not this one. Not this one. My red I caught last year. Right, look at that. Are you done? Or is the first year I caught my red? Well, that's with the first part of it. We're done. <coughs> this is the first part. Got We're filming now. What happened, Kenny? Yeah, we, we, we got 15 raccoons and none of them got skinned yet. Yeah, they're all in our freezer right now. 15? Go, go with him and play with the kids. So how many coons you got? 15 so far yeah. this year? Holy cow. That one you got that first day was the biggest coon I ever seen in my life. I know, it was weighed 40 they pounds. They have a, uh, a trapping, uh, what's it called? K? K3 trapping. K3 right? trapping. That's my son. On uh, YouTube. On, yeah, on YouTube. Oh, okay. They used to have a real good site. Uh, PA fur takers. Yeah, but now it's not shut down. Yeah. Why? What? It is? Uh, I think there were do-gooders that got on to it, and is what I heard. I don't know. Well, you know what? It's on. Now you have to go on huntingpa.com, and there's not much in there on, on it. Now, these armpits are such a pain. Yeah, I, I, tell you. I, I noticed that, too, even with raccoon when I yep. do them. Yep, they're all... Just do the best you can. Now, when you're using a beam like this, let me give you a piece of advice here. Watch when you get to the edges. Oh. 
Well, because you will put more holes in your animals yeah. than, you, before, than, than you'll know what to do with, and it'll happen before you even know it. It's so easy. That's how I put 90% of my nicks in my, in my stuff. Well, this is what we'll be doing over the holidays, you know that. Just yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna, well, we don't have any room, more room in the freezer. See, I took what we. It's got a button, Bucky. You cut the orange off right there. Yeah, that's the first doe I shot with the bow. <laughs> that's. <laughs> yep. Oh, I didn't even know what that was at first. It's a button, yeah, Buck. Buttons. Yes. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you, and you know what? I have another set somewhere. When I was a kid, the first doe I ever shot when I was twelve was a button buck. I saved them too. Yeah. Hey, they're the best eating. Oh, yeah, young ones, yeah, yeah. We might come back to this later. Is that easier than that way? Oh, absolutely. Doing what? See all this crap yeah. on here? I'm gonna hold this one up too. The thing that really stinks about these is their they're fur is so stinking thin. thin that you really gotta watch how hard you press. See, we only put one hole in it, and it was a paper one. I mean, it was actually less than you did. Thanks. But no, I'm serious. And that's the only hole we put in it. Thanks, buddy. Just get some dental floss and sew it up. They, no, my buddy said he yep. sews his shot. Yep. No, you don't. Yes, do you? Do. Yes, Why he does. Why do you do that? He takes... Why do you do that? Because breaks. then when, a, when, when you go to sell them and the buyer looks at it, once you have it sewed up and it dries, you won't even be you able won't to even see the it. hole there. He said he takes red string, um, white clear string. He said actually he was using um, fishing string. Yep. He said it's a little thicker, and he said he was using fishing string. Ken, you're gonna get blood on your. That's all right. See, I too, so I wonder if that's one of the things. Oh. And that's it. It's done. No. You can probably go over this stuff a little bit better. Right now, it's getting all wet and everything. It's tough to tell what I want to eat and what's just blood. Yeah, we'll get your bed. See how much nicer it is to push that in than pins in that, though, Jane? Compared to what. What do you guys use? Oh, I don't know, but you almost used to have to have a hammer to hit it in. Well, some of my. Some of my I have. Uh, I, re I bought that. Those basswood boards down yep. in. You're gonna, that's what you want. You don't want no pine. Pines. Why? Oh my. You think it's hard to push them in? Basswood. Take take one of these pine ones home and you know, put it in that <laughs> No, I was going to say, it's harder. What? And then you... No. Oops, sorry, dog. I like messed your place up. We have to help you cut it up to you. Oh, do me a favor. Grab that trap and just stick it somewhere away from this crap. I'm gonna use that one yet this year, but both of them. No, that one's bent up. I don't. I have to. Fix oh yeah, I see the kind of... Oh, I can see it. Yeah. That's the one that got ran over by the tractor. Just lay it over here, Pace. That's fine. No. Hey, see, I could care less. You know how many we have in it? It don't matter. I did it. That's. I don't. I can't wait when I get a salad. You know, this was worth so much more, but see that right there? That guy up there who's got, you just handed $600 to. <laughs>